In the mid-70s, uh, China decided that they would uh, try and uh, produce more vegetables and um, tomatoes and stuff like that. And um, to do that, the, to extend the season, they needed uh, passive solar greenhouses because they didn't have the money to buy lots and lots of oil and um, uh, burn coal, etc., to keep the greenhouses warm. So what they did was they did a design where the greenhouse was facing south, and in winter the sun would shine in uh, from the south, and uh, warmth would be retained in the back wall, which would be clay, and um, in the greenhouse itself. And then it would lose heat overnight, but uh, it d there would be a substantial um, increase in the temperature on average over the um, for the greenhouse in the winter. Then uh, about um, not even 10 years later they started upgrading their designs and it became uh, it had um, struts to support uh, a longer um, s a structure and there was um, more clay in the in the back now and um, uh, a bit of insulation here too. And uh, the the big thing that they did was they started using these um, manually rolled down uh, insulating blankets at night. So when the temperature goes uh, well below freezing, they would roll these things down and uh, keep the plants warm overnight. So now we go another decade along, and uh, it's working well, and they're producing lots and lots of vegetables uh, in the winter, in the off season and they start designing um, elliptical long span uh, metal tubing and uh, with um, plastic cover. I think the original ones were glass covered but they were using um, a plastic cover uh, similar to what they'd use on high uh, tunnels and th we uh, had uh, an automatic winder for the insulating blanket so that it would um, be uh, easier to roll it up and roll it down. And what we see now is they've got thicker brick on the inside uh, to hold some heat and uh, insulation. So they're saving the amount of work that you would have had with uh, brick and clay. So there's a uh, thick brick uh, to hold some heat and uh, insulation between and a thinner layer of brick on the outside. Now we go down to 2007. So another um, just over a decade, and what they've started to do is do a double layer. So they have a, a layer of plastic, and uh, then uh, a space where they now have the um, insulating blanket inside, and it's it's still done automatically. So it it rolls down. Um, yeah, e either have it on a timer or it rolls down at the push of a button and it takes a few minutes to roll down and uh, saves the heat for uh, overnight and um, yeah I guess the insulation is a bit thicker in, in the new design and uh, the g it went bigger as well so th it's gone from 5.1 meters to 5.9 to 7.5 and now with uh, better um, um, metal um, tubing, uh, they're able to get to 8.6 meters. So a considerable area, and it's nice and high now as well. It's um, the whole thing is four meters high, so it's about it's uh, good and high for people to work inside uh, at this stage. And nowadays, uh, 2021, there are thereabouts. Um, the guy in Olds, Alberta, uh, his uh, greenhouse is um, uh, 10 meters uh, wide. So instead of 8.6 8 meters, it's 10 meters. And I'm just going to go to his greenhouse now. So uh, this is the old Alberta one, so this is 10 meters, so it's a huge structure, and it's very long as well. I think um, it's about 100 meters long, so 300 feet long, and um, he grows, he, um, 
he extends the season in in this, and then uh, he's able to grow all his transplants to uh, put into his high tunnels, which he uses in the summer. So, um, and this is in uh, Alberta. Uh, Old's Alberta is at I think 51.7 degrees north, so it's uh, pretty far to the north. Oh, here we go. So 51.7, and south is here. So I don't have, it's not exactly south, but it's uh, south of these guys. Thank you.